After serving eight years in Army intelligence, Jessica Wilson walked into UK's Veterans Resource Center feeling a little nervous about starting her college career. I just thought I was going to be so different and such an outsider. And I stepped into that office and the guy at the front desk had been in the Army. And so I immediately felt like, oh wow, they, they know, like he's, he's been where I've been, he knows what I'm going through. A feeling she welcomed after a military career that took her across the country and around the world. We were in Mosul, Iraq, which is, it, when we arrived there, it was considered the safest place in Iraq, and by the time our unit left, it was considered one of the most dangerous. Um, and then Afghanistan, I had troops underneath me. I had about 29 people underneath me, and there was one time when I left the base and our base got attacked, and that was a really big wake-up call. Luckily, none of them were injured too seriously, um, but that, it, it was just, it, I don't know, it was a, it wasn't a good experience, but it was a, definitely a formative experience, I'd say. Just gives you a totally different perspective on the world and human nature and everything. As she made the transition from military to university life, she came to rely on Veterans Resource Center coordinator Anthony Dotson. His class uh, offers a lot of information about you know, just how to study again, things that you forget after you know, eight years of being away from the academic environment. Today, Wilson works in the very same office that helped her get started. So I'm glad that, you know, for the two and a half years I've been at UK, I've been able to work in that office and help so many other veterans um, because I know I was in that position and it was, it was scary, it was confusing, and um, it was nice to have somewhere to go to, to get some help with that. As Jessica focuses on her final classes, she looks forward to finally achieving her dream as she graduates from UK this December with a bachelor's degree in economics. I look at this as the biggest accomplishment just because um, I, I put a lot of work and effort into it. She hopes future veterans will follow her example. Take advantage of all the resources that are available to you. They're limitless. Um, and, you know, seek help if you need it. Sometimes veterans are very hard-headed. Um, we think that we can do everything on our own, um, but sometimes that's just not the case. And there's no shame in seeking out assistance where you need it, um, especially if it's there. Take advantage of it. So no matter where she ends up after graduation, Kentucky now holds a special place in this Pennsylvania native's heart. UK, uh, I don't know what I, I don't know what I would have done without Mr. Dotson and the Veterans Resource Center. So I really associate them heavily um, with UK. It just represents the ability to achieve something and have somebody behind me feeling like they, they care as well as I do, you know? Um, they can help me achieve what I want to achieve. This, this took like a lot of effort and a lot of work and something I'm very proud of.